What's going on guys? Um, just want to do a quick video here since we had some, uh, some pretty big news with uh, the 12.1 patch notes as well as, uh, as a developer blog. And I haven't actually gone through all this yet, so I don't really know uh, what's in store. So I figured I'd make a quick video and um, see what this all is about. Um, so first things first in the 12.1 patch notes is the Miramar world update. Um, the last time they did it, kind of a revamp, it was, it was more graphics and stuff. They added those ramps and, uh, the racetracks, and I believe they added the, they added the vehicles, the Marauders too, I believe, something like that. But anyhow, uh, that was the last time there was a, a Miramar world update. So it looks like they're planning on changing some other things. I think it's mostly visual though. I believe they're trying to like smooth out some of the rougher terrain as in like the cliffs sides and that stuff like that yeah right here additional quest for steep shooting so uh i guess it'll make you know not getting stuck in zone a bit easier maybe perhaps the graphics uh i know there's some before and after pictures maybe further down but um looks like it's just a mostly just a graphic update and they're getting rid of some of the clutter some uh, yeah, we got foliage updates, lighting updates, before and after. Yeah, so it looks like they're good. They're they're cleaning up some of the textures. Maybe maybe this will help help people with uh, some of the frame drops and stuff from like the older Xboxes. It looks like this will probably uh, render in a bit easier. Newer style there. Yeah, it looks like there's like almost slightly brighter, but. They de they definitely look like they got removed some some of the textures and stuff. So so maybe that'll help with the, lo the loading issues. So I think the the Miramar is just uh like I said I think it's just textures and stuff. But at least they're doing something. So looking forward to that. Uh, next up, new weapon, the Lynx AMR. Uh, okay, I heard about this. I believe it's a five round. Yeah, five shots. Spawns only in Miramar normal matches. Be added to custom matches in training mode. Capable of destroying BDRMs and even penetrating the windows kill its occupants. That's kind of cool. Capable of de destroying weak vehicles like motorcycles in a single shot. That's kind of cool. Okay, so like we got a five shot crate weapon. 50 cal. That's pretty badass. I'm looking forward to that. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want that in actual like uh, tournaments and comp, but um, in terms of actual, you know, casual games, that would be kind of fun. So that's pretty cool. Uh, new vehicle quad. Uh, it's pretty quick. 125. Only sponsor Miramar. Hopefully this is something that I like. Hopefully that this actually is decent to drive in Miramar. Because all the vehicles are such a pain in the ass to drive in Mir Miramar. So hopefully. Hopefully it actually drives like an ATV. And you could actually not have to worry about flipping it every two seconds. That's kind of cool. Uh, rank season 12. So this is all like the PC uh, patch notes, but most of this is going to be the same for, for, for console as well. So that's kind of why we're going through it right now. So what else do we have here? Season 12. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I mean, really the only thing that I really care about for the ranked is that it, it gets changed to FPP, FPP only on console. Hopefully, hopefully they'll do something like that, but uh, weapons skill upgrade system. So basically they're changing it so you can level up your weapons, I guess. And depending on how many kills or how many, whatever you have it on it, you know, you can add different textures to your weapons. I, I you know, kind of like how Call of Duty unlocks different weapons, depending on how many kills you have. That's what I think it seems like it's going to be like unboxing of a chance to acquire for all weapon skills, 200 kill coins each or pack of 10 for 1800. Um, yeah, so that basically looks like what it is. Basically an opportunity unboxing of a chance to, or wait a second. Materials used to upgrade skins can be purchased or found with low probability. Oh, purchable through bad funds. Okay. So you have to use it. You have to actually get this stuff on through purchasing it or battle points. Then it looks like. 
Well, I mean, a good opportunity. Good thing I have like 4 million battle points saved up, right? Jeez, that's a lot of probability, 0.9. Jeez. Okay, well. It should be interesting. At least it's something to like, you know, change your weapons and whatnot. Scrap shop, scrap a car. Okay, so that, I mean, they're basically introducing a pretty complex system to, to change, you know, the, your guns and skins and whatnot. So that's. That is pretty interesting. It looks pretty complex, so I'll have to go through it in, in more depth once it actually gets uh, the, the Xbox um, patch notes get released or the console. But that, I mean, that's what it seems like. It seems like basically like a progression system that you get through either purchasing or finding them on regular crates, which is kind of cool. I don't, it might not actually have even anything to do with, with kills and stuff, but, but we'll see. Um, UI UX, uh, lobby ball. So when you're, <laughs> when you're sitting in the, in the lobby now, instead of punching each other, I guess you could, you can uh, play some footy bot improvements. I mean, we don't get a lot of bots anyhow, so who cares about that? But, um, hall of fame, TGIS. Yeah. And the Sonic's in there. Decent. Uh, emergency pickup improvements, uh, less frequency with, with the, the emergency pickup. So it was one of my biggest complaints with the emergency pickups was there's just too many. They were all over the place. So it looks like they're putting a cool down now, which, uh, which is definitely needed to be done. So that's good. Reputation system. Nobody cares. Uh, social, social uh, doesn't really affect console performance improve. So hopefully it looks like they're doing performance improvements on the PC side. Hopefully that translates to the um, console side as well. I know some skins, uh, much better than pajama party. So uh, these are probably might be different on console. I'm not sure. So we shall see. But I mean, like I said, definitely better than pajama party. Nameplates. Uh, it's more cosmetics, a lot more cosmetics. these how many cosmetics and this is all bug fixes it looks like um the other major thing which we're gonna go and take a look at right now is uh the developer plan which is basically a roadmap for 2021 um, I complained about this to my to the stream not too long ago. How the, how about two years ago, PUBG had a, a pretty good roadmap that they were doing, and they kind of lost sight of it. And they, but it looks like they're kind of back on board, so that's kind of cool. So basically, world plan. So the first thing that they plan on doing, yada yada, yada the Miramar update, which we, what we talked about. There's some more textures here. You can kind of see how it's. It looks like they're actually making it more, like I said, easier. Easier to render. Um, the next big thing. Uh, next big thing is the new map that they looks like they're going to be doing later on this year. Uh, hopefully later on this year. So it's going to be an 8x8 Tiger. And the key change, the ability to return to the battle after initial defeat. So basically, there's going to be some kind of respawn element to this map, which I know a lot of streamers really, really wanted that because it sucks when you're playing like with with duels and stuff. And so one of them dies off rip and you got to kind of kill yourself and queue up again, especially for the PC guys. For, for the console players, it's not as big because we get games really quickly. But I mean, it is an interesting aspect and I hope it just stays on that map because I... I don't think all of PUBG is ready to be like, you know, respawn ready, but to have one specific map where you can respawn would be kind of interesting. Second map they're planning on doing a code named Kiki. It looks a bit more futuristic -y. Uh diverse set of locations, mysterious underground labs, skyscrapers, swamps, subways. It reminds me of kind of like cyberpunk. We were talking about this earlier. That's pretty cool. So it looks like the two eight by eight maps are, um, Coming. Maybe maybe not all of them this year. I know they say 2021. They say shortly after. So, 
I imagine this will be later on this year and then may maybe both of them. I don't know. I mean, we're already in May, June almost, so it is possible. Anyhow, so some pretty exciting news from PUBG. Um, I know this is already on the test servers as of today. Uh, I'm hoping uh, next week will probably be live on PC and I believe, don't quote me on this, but the week after is going to be on Xbox. That's usually how it works. So we got about two weeks and I'm assuming the patch notes are going to be relatively the same. Anyhow, I'm going to post a link to all of this information. So if you want to go check it out, you can do that in the description. And um, that's it for now. I'll catch you guys later.